Uh, so like the whole time I was stressed, I was stressed out. I was freaking she out was about that. Driven there. Well, I, I thought it would be way easier just to fly. <laughs> yeah. The, even... the place also, I booked myself the interview. There's two interview locations in the Houston airport. One inside of security and one outside of security. I thought I'll book myself on the inside security one because less people going to go there. It's easier to get in and out. So yeah. I you also don't have, have to go back through security to right. go back on your flight. Yeah. So that's why I, I didn't Fair drive play. there. Good answer. So then I, I get there and uh, <clears throat> the, it, was, it was an interesting experience. So again, this is a, since it's a government office, there's signs everywhere, like no cell phones. And all of them are upside down for some reason, which was really weird to me. Because you'll pay attention to them. And the, uh, it's like that laundry. Laundry, uh, laundry. I don't know what that means. Classic. Uh, so I walk into this office in Houston, right? <laughs> and the office is about the size of this podcast oh, set. Oh, really? It's tiny. And it's like one dude... Like one customs officer at a desk. Were they able and he's, to order a smaller couch? He's interviewing life? someone. I guess like doing their global entry interview. And he's like, I'll be with you in a minute. Like, okay. So I sit down, whatever. They finish up. And uh, I go up to do my thing. And um, I'm talking with him. And I guess he can see all of my information because they do like a background check on you. And they have all, they have, you know, your whole life on the screen in front of them. He's like a filmmaker, huh? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. What kind of films do you make? Well, I was like, it's complicated. You know, we do stuff on the internet. You make it sound like porn. Yeah. It's Immediately. Porn. It's comedy. And he goes, oh, okay. He's like, I, I, he's like, I love movies. Like, I love watching movies. I was like, oh, really? He goes, yeah. And he's like, I'm a huge fan of Wes Anderson movies. He's like, oh, what's that Wes Anderson movie that was filmed in Houston? I was like, oh, Rushmore. I love Rushmore. It's one of my favorite movies. He goes, yeah, yeah, I love, love that. Is he quizzing you? I don't know. And he, he, this is going to make Were you question that even more. Were you then like, shut the fuck up, so, I don't care about your life? So then, <laughs> the true, true American fashion. So then he's like, yeah, he's like, I really like good films. You know, I, I hate that tr those trashy films. Like a friend of mine invited me over to uh, his place. He's got a pool and he had a, a screening for that movie, Shark Danko. I was like. <laughs> shark Danko? Yeah, I was like, what? He's like, yeah, you James know, Shark Danko, the, the sharks, and they're like flying in the air. I was flying like, the Danko? Yeah, I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> He goes, yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, and then he was like, what's your, he asked me, like, what's your favorite film? It's like, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I, I was like, I like Ghost World a lot. I think Ghost World's a really good movie. He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, he's like, he was like, I don't think I've seen that one. I was like, it's got Thor Birch, it's Scarlett Johansson. He goes, oh, yeah. It's also got Steve Buscemi in it, right? Wow, this like, guy's, he's <laughs> fucking with you at this <laughs> point. I was like, okay, like, is this a test? Like what you said. He, like, yeah, he's fucking with you, it, it feels like. Because he heard you were a filmmaker, so he's testing you by throwing out stuff he knows. That can't be a real wrong. thing they do. Maybe, you don't know, Barbara. I don't know, but Americans I Americans are shifty, you'll find out. I never said wonderful. anything, I didn't question it. <laughs> Got through the interview real fast and everything was fine. But it, like in my head, I'm like, was I being tested? And did I, like, did I fail some kind of test? You should have been like, hey, what's that like natural disaster called when the wind's going <laughs> a in a tordanko. circle? No, was it? <laughs> yeah. A tordanko. <laughs> Steve Buscemi <laughs> dies in a tordanko. No, there was one other thing that he said. I can't remember what it was at the time. But she started was... messing up like government agencies. Like, yeah, I did pay taxes to the IRIS. <laughs> <laughs> See if he calls you on it. See if he's really a government agent. I didn't yeah. pay taxes to ISIS. Dogs are so versatile. Didn't they yeah. do something at uh, an airport where Cat there was window. like a huge delay or like some huge issue and like every flight was delayed for like days and they brought in dog, like comfort dogs? I think that was in Washington. I want to say it was in Washington, D.C. Like to, they had dogs. Or like people Why who were like Why were flights lining? delayed? It was some like <clears throat> big disaster. It was Dankos. <laughs> there were Dankos <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> they couldn't fly the blankets all the fucking Dankos. <laughs> Shark Dankos. <laughs> Real bad weather. They had F5 Dankos everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Um, here, I got something I want to read. 